Hi everybody. So as you can see that I'm setting up a new site and I was uh, setting up contact form 7. As you can see here, I have contact form 7 here, paste it to a contact page. And basically, I should, uh, I should be able to, sorry, I should be able to send email through this contact form. But most of the time, you need to do something more because it doesn't work out of the box. So let me show you. I want to send you. Uh, I am going to send a test email. Okay. Hey. Hi. And if you open the the developer console and switch to all and click on send. You see that there is a request here and it contains all the data to the server. But it, it stay pending for a while, then it will be a 500, uh, 504 timeout error. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that using a Gmail account. So uh, let's wait a bit more. That will be a minute long. It depends on our server, server settings. But most of, most of the time, it will turn red and you get a 504 timeout error. That is very common. So the first thing we need to do is to get a app password uh, for, for our Gmail account so we can use it as a, in, uh, as in, you see, Hey, it wait a while. Okay, so that is uh, there's a problem on the server. So we need to generate an app password. So I'm going to search for app password Gmail, and I switch switch to my other account. Go to yeah, switch again. And it says that security, we have security here. And then the app password, you see that I have some password set up here. And let's generate, generate another, another app, another app password. I'm going to insert my uh, domain name here. This is my new domain, supersimap.net, and I generate that. And this is the app password. Okay, so we have got the app password. What, what do we do next? The next thing is to configure SMTP server for for our website, so it will use a Gmail SMTP instead of our server SMTP, which, as as you saw, didn't work. So I'm going to add a new plugin called ECWP SMTP. ECWP SMTP, and uh, this is it. This is the second one, not this one. Install that activate and we go to I guess that under settings and ECWP SMTP here and from email that with my email from name and reply to the reply to would be the email of the sender we don't need to have a BCC email address so this is the smtp.gmail.com. This is the Gmail server. Sorry, that would be here. Next, SSL, TOS, and the port is 465. 
and of course you can leave this yes we need a SMTP authentication and the username that would be your email in this case for gmail.com and SMTP password that would be my app password here and uh, oops here we go so we save changes and um, setting save I think that's it oops it seems the setting didn't save so we do that again and save changes that's that and you see that the password is now safe if you didn't see the password uh, is saved try again and add in setting you don't need to do anything here and we are not going to send a test email because we are going to test here live so I'm going to send the email again from I don't know Jane Jane dot I know mail.com hey the email is working and I'm glad to tell you that the email function is working and we hit send and straight up you see it is 200 easy peasy right so there you, you can click on response here to see thank you for a message it has been sent now let's go to my email to make sure that I got the email and here it is I got the email super zoom up hey the email is working and this is the body so that's it that is how you can make uh, the mail sending function on your website work without too much effort and Gmail is free and for a personal website I think that would be enough I remember that Gmail has a limit of 500 emails per day if you use more than that you should consider some options like SendGrid they have no limit I think they have like uh, nine dollars for ten thousand emails uh, per month I guess so that should be enough so hopefully you find the video helpful if you have questions please let me know and have a great day